this is Jason Yormark for the Socialistics Podcast, the inaugural episode of the Socialistics Podcast. You might be asking yourself, what is the Socialistics Podcast? And the truthful answer is, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, what I can tell you is that uh, my tagline is social media agency stories. I've always wanted to do this. Uh, I actually have. Uh, I have another podcast that I do for adult baseball called Comebacker and had such a great time with that and knew that I wanted to translate that experience into something professionally uh, to, to go along with our social media agency, which is also called Socialistics. But I, wouldn't, I wasn't really sure what that would be. I didn't want to do something just to do it and uh, took a lot of time to just think through what exactly that could be. And ultimately, I think it was an episode of uh, J- Jason Swank, who's a, a, a kind of an agency coach. He doesn't like to be called that, but I can't think of a better term. He had a really great episode with somebody that kind of talked about um, – how if you're not doing a podcast as an agency, you're really missing out. And I think that was kind of the driving force for me to just say, you know what, I'm just going to do this and see where it goes. And it may not be perfect, but uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to test it out and see what happens. And I always think about all these incredible experiences and stories, good and bad, that I go through every day as an agency owner, especially during the current pandemic and how that's you know, impacted the business. And a lot of days are hard. And sometimes I wish I had an outlet. I wish that I had more means to connect with people and share what I'm experiencing, because I know I'm not the only one that's going through this. And, you know, trust me, I am not complaining. There are people and businesses out there that are far worse off than I am or our business is. But, you know, we all have challenges at, at varying degrees. And, uh, for me, this is just an opportunity to to talk through some of that stuff, and not only talk through that, but you know, talk to really interesting people uh, across the world that are involved in what we do. Whether that's other agencies, you know, there's plenty of work to go around. I have no problem, you know, talking to colleagues and and sharing best practices and and hearing what their frustrations and challenges are, and um, talking to you know platforms that we use. There's so so many great pieces of technology that we use that are so cool. And uh, just being able to introduce that to more people. So I, I'm working to kind of line up folks to talk to, to kind of learn a little bit more about those platforms and, and why, we, why they're so fantastic. You know, we've been through so many of them that uh, I want to pass on that, that great information and, and everything in, in between, you know, sharing client stories and just the insights of what it's like to start an agency and, you know, what's involved with that and, what what's worked and what hasn't and the tough days, the great days, you know, if we can help anybody else navigate a similar career path, then, then this was all worth it. So that's, that's what the socialistics podcast is going to be. And certainly it's going to be more than just me babbling on and on, you know, your, your introductory episode is going to be that, but moving forward, I certainly plan on, on bringing other individuals into this that are far more interesting than me and uh, including members of my team and, and like the folks that I just kind of described. So I'm really looking forward to seeing where this goes and uh, just kind of take it from there. So as far as, you know, what's, what's socialistic. So I, you know, let me give you a little bit of backstory. Um, you know, I've been a marketer for gosh, 23, 24 years. I kind of fell into it. You know, I was in school and I didn't, I was in college. I went to Illinois state and I had no idea what I wanted to do. I got about two or three years into college and ultimately just when I remember going and visiting with the, um, one of the uh, advisors and I think I remember saying like, what, what, what degree will just get me out of here the quickest. And ultimately it was communications, which is pretty broad, but uh, that's what I decided to do. So I got involved in doing some cool radio and TV things and did really well with that. I enjoyed it, but then, uh, you know, when I found out what it paid, <laughs> I wasn't so interested in that, uh, especially back, you know, you're talking late 90s. So, you know, getting into broadcast news or things of that nature was challenging financially, to say the least. So ultimately, I just kind of fell into marketing. I had worked in computer 
um, the computer section of the bookstore at the school I was at. So I was kind of around computers a lot and just learned how to do websites and just kind of fell into it. And uh, that's, that's how I got into marketing. I mean, if I can go back and do it all over again, I, I might not choose marketing just because of how volatile marketing is. I mean, I, I used to be really, uh, I felt um, embarrassed by how many jobs I had had throughout my career. It was just like, I'd look at my LinkedIn. I'd be like, geez, like I can't hold a job. I mean, you know, and it was, it was rarely ever performance related. It was because I got laid off or who knows what reasons, but I was always embarrassed by that. But it wasn't until I started to look at other marketers on LinkedIn and how rare it was for anybody to be anywhere for an extended period of time. So my entire life, I've been looking for this stability. And I always, in my mind, it was wired in a way where it's like, I've got to find that nine to five job. I've got to find that desk job and drive to work and have the benefits and the stability that I need to raise a family. And that's what I need. And that's the way it's going to be, even though my heart and my brain was telling me that I needed to do my own thing. And that's how it was wired. But that's not what responsible people do. You got to have a job. You got to take care of your family. You got to have that paycheck. And I did for a good 17, 18 years. But in the back of my mind, I always knew that I need, I need to be do my own thing. I just, that's the way I'm wired. And it wasn't until uh, the last role that I had, I, uh, I was let go, uh, reasons out of my control, um, did a great job there, loved being there. And I just, I had had it at that point. I was just like, the stability that I was looking for wasn't wasn't what I thought it was. The stability was doing my own thing, controlling my own fate. And luckily for me, I'd kind of started thinking about that already and kind of putting the ball in motion a little bit to create that opportunity for myself. But ultimately, I just got thrown into the fire and decided I'm, I'm just going to do my own thing. I am, I'm tired of my fate not being in my own control. And my kids had, were a little bit older. I had a little bit more of an appetite for risk and decided to just go for it. So I launched Socialistics a couple of years ago, and it's been the best decision I've ever made. You know, I always, I lived in fear of failing. Like, what would I do? How am I going to pay the bills if this doesn't work? And that fear is what held, always held me back. And in other instances throughout my life, when I thought I might make that leap, it was the fear that prevented me from doing what needed to be done to make something successful on your own. And once I got past that, at least most of it, that's when things started to take off. It felt like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders and that I was then capable of building something sustainable. And that's exactly what's happened. And uh, we've built a really cool brand. I've surrounded myself with incredible teammates, partners, people that um, I love working with. And it's worked. You know, we've been doing it for, you know, a couple of years now. Um, it's really grown over the past eight months. And certainly the pandemic has kind of thrown a wrench in that, um, you know, regardless of, you know, whether uh, you know, our opinion is you should double down on marketing in a pandemic. Um, but hey, if it's the, if you have a choice between doing that or, or paying your people, then yeah, we understand pay your people. So, you know, we never, you know, try to advise clients otherwise. So, you know, we've taken a hit and, um, you know, we're trying to work through that. But at the same time, we've had to evolve. We live in a different world and we need to adjust and, you know, things are starting to kind of pick back up for us. And now, now is a there isn't a better time to launch a podcast and try to reach more people and help people make good decisions around their marketing. And, uh, you know, we certainly specialize in social media. That's our strength. You know, we do other things, but ultimately we picked a lane. You know, one of the best pieces of advice I ever got is to, you know, really pick a specific niche or um, area of expertise. You know, I think the days of being a generalist are, are few and far between. You know, you're always going to have your giant agencies that um, are able to do that. But I think any newcomers are really going to have to kind of go down that path. So we we were lucky to kind of 
take that path early on and really kind of position ourselves as just social media and really B2B social media. But we've had some incredible experiences. You know, we've worked with the Air Force. We've worked with Trupanion, which is one of the world's largest pet insurance companies. So we've really got to work with some big brands and, and even, even the small mom and pop shops. I mean, we really try to have a spectrum of, of clients that we work with. So we've really had a lot of experiences across so many different products and services and sized companies. Learned so much over the years in terms of how to best leverage technology and ultimately at the end of the day, make sure that any company that invests in an agency for their marketing or social media gets a return on their investment. That's what they care about. You know, it's not about the vanity metrics. And we really try to build an environment that provides them a clear understanding of we are spending this and we are getting this out of it. Because if you can do that, clients will stick with you forever. And uh, we've had a lot of luck in being able to work with a variety of clients for an extended period of time. So, so that's who we are. And then trust me when I say there have been probably more hard days than good ones. It is a grind. And some days I, I worry that it, everything's going to blow up and it's not going to work and everything's going to change so dramatically. Are we going to be able to keep up? And, you know, that anxiety and stress, that's unfortunately the, the dark side to being an entrepreneur. It doesn't go away. You know, you always have that. It always lives inside you. It's not so much about learning how to get rid of it as much as it's learning how to live with it. And, you know, that's, that's tough. So my hope is maybe this podcast is an opportunity to kind of share those insights and, and frustrations with others that maybe have gone through similar types of things. But uh, yeah, I just, I really look forward to sharing those stories with everybody. So, um, so that's it. That's, that's who this, that's, that's what this is going to be. That's who it's going to be for. And I hope you stick around. If you're listening to this, uh, you're, there's already some other episodes that uh, we've launched in conjunction with this first one that I hope you take a listen to. So hopefully you find some value or entertainment uh, or learnings from what we do here. And uh, we're always looking for your feedback and questions and whatever you think we should be doing to make this as great as it can be. So thanks for listening. Look forward to our adventures together and uh, look forward to some future episodes of the Socialistics Podcast. Talk to you soon. <laughs>